What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the new diesel engine rumors for the 2023 model year. Now, if you're new to the channel, or maybe you're just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly updates on all things GM. Now, let's get into it. All right, so this news actually dropped a few days ago, but I wanted to wait and see if we'd get a little bit more information before I went ahead and made a video on it. And we did get a little bit more, not everything that I had hoped for, but what's the deal? Well, according to reports from gmauthority.com, we've got a new or updated version of the three liter LM2 Duramax diesel on the horizon for the 2023 model year known as the Duramax LZ0. Now, Although we don't know too much about this new engine offering from General Motors just yet, there are a few things that we can make assumptions on. First, let me just go ahead and come out and say that the current LM2 Duramax engine has been nearly perfect. Customers seem to love it. Everyone who has reviewed it seems to love it. And as I dug around for common issues with it, even asking some of my technicians in our service department, it seems that the LM2 is almost flawless. So it makes sense to me why it's becoming such a popular engine choice among G GM truck buyers. I see it in all my videos all the time, hoping to get it with the three liter. Can't wait to get the three liter. Uh, it's everywhere. So it makes sense, especially with the increased fuel costs because the LM2 just gets crazy fuel economy up to 33 miles per gallon highway. Yes, it's just crazy. So what will GM be improving upon on the LZ0? Well, as far as we know, it will continue on as a three liter inline six turbo diesel engine, but something that I'm sure they'll be looking to resolve is is an issue that's been reported a few times with the LM2 and pretty much the only issue that I've ever heard of it with it is the long crank problem, which is when the engine cranks for a longer than normal time before firing up. Makes sense, long crank problem. Uh, there's a few videos of this on YouTube that you can find if you look, as well as a few that fail to start completely. And I realize that sounds bad, but if you're thinking about buying a truck with the LM2 diesel or you have one already, do not let this news scare you. Outside of the very few engines that have reported this issue, there really isn't anything else wrong with the LM2 engine. Long crank or fail to start is very, very rare. As for the reason behind the problem, it's suspected that the cause is due to a faulty camshaft position sensor, so I would expect GM to resolve that with the upcoming LZ0, making it even more almost perfect. I would also expect a minor bump up in performance, you know, the current LM2 puts down 277 horsepower and a very impressive 460 pound-feet of torque at only 1,500 RPM. Now, although that seems to be plenty capable already, especially considering its 9,000 pound towing capacity, if GM can, can increase the performance numbers while maintaining or even improving upon the current MPG numbers from the LM2, I think consumers, myself included, will be very, very pleased. Also, according to GM Authority, the 2023 Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, and Escalade will not offer the new LZ0 Duramax engine as an option, which doesn't really make much sense to me. I'm not sure why that would be a path that GM would take, so I'm going to be taking that report with a grain of salt, or at least until I hear something Otherwise, directly from GM. As far as the dealer level correspondence, that's nothing that I've heard of as so I'm not really sure about that one, but let me know in the comments below if you're currently driving a truck or SUV equipped with the three liter LM2 Duramax, because I would love to hear your feedback on it. Maybe make this a place where other people who are researching the engine can hear your feedback on it. Let me know how many what you're getting for miles per gallon. Let me know if you have any issues with it uh, and drop those in the comments below. But that's all I have for you guys today. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you do me a huge favor by just smashing that like button, keeps the YouTube algorithm gods happy. We know how important that is these days. Subscribe if if you haven't already, check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs, and I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.